hands make an extraordinary life-casting gift because of their texture and expressiveness. They are also one of the simplest life-casting artistic sculptures to produce in terms of preparation time, modeling ease, use of material and space needed to create the mold and casting. In this example, we have chosen to cast a hand while holding an object. This gives special relevance to the sculpture and to the owner of the hand, especially if their interest is sports-related to the object they are holding, such as a lacrosse ball, a badminton bird, tennis ball, hockey puck, softball, and so on. This short video will take you step-by-step step through the molding and casting process to make certain it is clear. We have selected this slightly advanced hand cast instruction because the most basic of hand casting is done without holding anything, yet it follows the same procedure, sans the object held. So we provide two lessons in one set of instructions. The process begins with a container large enough for your hand and the object it will hold. You will need 1 pound of mold gel regular set sill-free alginate for the project. The mold container is filled with water to the top of the container. A pose is then taken. Here we decided to cast a hand holding a PC mouse. Whatever the hand can hold may be cast, but it is important to practice the pose first as you want it centered in the container without touching the bottom. A one-pound package of mold gel is sprinkled in the container of water. Always add powder to the water, or lumps will develop that are hard to remove with stirring. Avoid hard water or lumps will be a problem. A wire kitchen whisk is used for stirring. This reduces the amount of air incorporated into the mix that can develop if a stir stick or spoon is used instead. Air creates air bubbles that can mar the surface of your finished work. Once you have created a smooth alginate mix, the hand, holding the PC mouse, is inserted into the container. A helper steadies the hand so that it stays in the middle while the mold gel sets. Setting takes about 4 to 5 minutes. The helper wraps on the outside of the container for several minutes, helping trapped air escape to the surface. After the mold gel has set to a rubber-like consistency, the model wiggles their fingers to break the suction of the mold gel against the skin. The hand releasing the object, and with a slow upward pressure, it is removed from the mold. The next step is to mix the cast right art stone according to label directions. A whisk is used for this procedure as well, though using gloved hands work just as well. The mixture is ready when it reaches the consistency of yogurt. This picture shows the cast right sitting on top of the water. When this phenomenon occurs, you have added enough plaster to the water. The kitchen whisk is again used to mix the cast right. Once the mixture is smooth and lump-free, Slowly pour the cast right into the mold. In this case, we completely fill the container so as to create a base for the artwork. Now that the mold has been filled up, wrap the sides for several minutes to remove any air bubbles. You will see bubbles rise to the surface as you tap the sides of the container. Once the bubbles stop, you can stop wrapping and set the casting aside undisturbed. After about an hour and a half, your casting should be cured enough to demold. Complete setting takes about 24 to 48 hours. Remove the plastic molding container and carefully place its contents upside down to drain any excess water from the mold. Very carefully tear away at the gelled alginate to expose your new casting. The casting is not yet completely cured, and you can damage it if not careful. Fingers are easily broken at this stage, but with a little super glue, they are easily fixed. Demolding now makes cleanup easier than waiting until later. Once the piece has been demolded, 
it will require some cleanup. An old toothbrush and a sharp pointed object make the job easier. After cleanup, the finished piece is proudly displayed. After about 48 hours, your artwork should be sealed with a clear or matte polyurethane sealer. You can also choose to paint it if you wish.